Good evening. What happened to Dior Coons Jr.? That's a question that has gone without an answer since July of 2015, just about four years ago, when the boy then two was reported missing after a camping trip with his family in Ledor in eastern Idaho. But now we may be closer to an answer tonight. A prominent private investigator who recently took this case is hopeful that they may have made some progress. Our Misty England spoke with that investigator earlier tonight to learn more. She joins us live now from Idaho Falls near the campsite. Misty, what'd you find out? Well, Mark, David Marshburn is a private investigator who took on this case a couple of months ago after some local community members encouraged him to try and find Dior. So earlier this month, around June 8th, Marshburn brought out two specially trained cadaver dogs to search the Timber Creek campground where Dior was last seen. And according to Marshburn, his dogs made what they call a hard alert on what he believes to be human remains. Our dogs are cadaver dogs they find cadaver scent, human cadaver scent. So when they do an alert, we are pretty confident that they're finding remains of a human, but are we saying, can we 100% say it's Dior? No, can we say it's an Indian from way back? No, we don't know what's 100% there. We just know the confidence in our dogs that there is human remains of some sort there. It's just what? Now, Marshburn says that his dogs are trained specifically with human bone, human teeth and human cadavers so that that is the only scent they will pick up. He says they are also specially trained to be able to identify human remains as deep as six feet underground. And because that's what they're trained for, Marshburn says they found something. Marshburn also said after his dogs alerted, Sheriff Penner brought in another dog who also hit on something in the same area. Now again, to be very clear, Marshburn told me he's not sure who or what exactly it may be, but he's confident it is some sort of human remains that his dogs alerted to. He says next steps now up to the Lemhi County Sheriff's Office and local law enforcement. I know my dogs. I know what we do and I know they had their past history of finding people and I'm pretty confident we we feel we have got what we need and we went back and now uh you know sheriff's office got to do their part now marshburn owns a nonprofit called search for me foundation and he tells me that he and his cadaver dogs have helped solve 13 missing persons cases to date and when asked why his dogs may have found something that other dogs haven't over the last four years he said it could come down to simply a difference in how they're trained, the way they work with their handlers, the elements like water or wind, or it could just be about timing. Now, Sheriff Penner did confirm to KTVB yesterday that that Timber Creek, Timber Creek campground is closed through the weekend as part of a search that is related to the Dior case, but he didn't provide any other details about that. And today we also reached out to some family members of Dior's, but they tell us that they were asked by the sheriff's office not to comment at this time. Mark, back to you. So Misty, let me ask you, is Marshburn's investigation finished? I mean, the obvious question, what happens tomorrow? What happens this weekend and beyond? Well, Marshburn told me that his part to this point is pretty well done because, of course, they have to have special equipment to come in and dig on that area that they alerted to. They have to, of course, have all the other pieces in play of depending on what they do find. So that's up to the law enforcement. He says that's where they come in. He said he'll probably hang around for a little bit, see what they discover. But his part, at least up to this point, is pretty well done. Now it's local law enforcement to figure out the rest of the pieces. Misty Inglet and photojournalist Paul Belke on the scene tonight in Idaho Falls. Misty and Paul, thank you. As you might know, and as we've reported, this is a case that has drawn worldwide attention. On July 10th of 2015, when the two-year-old toddler was reported missing from the eastern Idaho campground, those there included the toddler's parents, a friend, and the boy's great-grandfather who has since died. In September, private investigator Frank Vilt, who volunteered to work the case, resigned, saying the parents lied and misled him during the investigation. In November of 2015, Texas investigator Philip Klein is hired by the paternal grandfather, Vernal Coons. 
In January of 2016, Lemhi County Sheriff Lynn Bowerman names the toddler's parents, Vernal Coons and Jessica Mitchell, as suspects. In July, he claims the case has to be, quote, a homicide. In October of 2016, Steve Penner is appointed as the new sheriff following the retirement of Bowerman. In November of 2016, the family sues their investigator, Philip Klein, for comments made to media outlets about what he called inconsistencies in the family stories. This spring, David Mashburn from the national investigation nonprofit Search For Me takes up the case. Last month, a judge throws out most of the suit against Klein. Earlier this month, Mashburn said cadaver dogs he had with him at the campsite were alerted to what he believes may be human remains. That brings us to now and the closing of the Timber Creek Campground for a complete and total investigation. And we want to remind you that Little Man Lost is our national investigative team series on the disappearance of and search for Dior Coons Jr. We first brought you this in 2018, and you can see it right now in its entirety on our website at ktvb.com.